Hello, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. We get a lot of questions about radon testing and specifically about radon test kits. Are they accurate? Can we trust the results? When should you use a professional radon test? And are consumer grade radon monitors any good? So hopefully we're gonna answer some of those questions in this video. Now we're doing a duplicate radon test where all of our devices are about four inches apart and that's gonna help us measure the accuracy between all of these different radon monitors and test kits. So an overview of our test devices, we've got the Radon Eye Pro by Ecosense. This is a professional radon monitor, also referred to as a CRM or continuous radon monitor. Here we've got the AirThings Pro, also a continuous radon monitor. These two would be used by professionals and they are sent to the lab annually for calibration, or at least they're supposed to be when used by a professional. Here we've got the AirThings Home digital radon monitor. This is designed for consumers. Here we've got the EcoCube by Ecosense, also a digital radon monitor designed for consumers. And then down at the end there, we've got the Eco Tracker by Ecosense. That's targeted more for mitigators. It is not the same as the Radon Eye Pro in the sense that it's not sent for calibration. It comes with a kit of four and it's used primarily to find hot spots within a house and it helps make mitigation decisions. And then here we've got a bunch of air check short-term radon test kits. These are three to seven day tests. Um, you'd set it up and then at the end of the test period, you'd mail it back to the lab. And we primarily use these for our post mitigation radon tests that we give to the customer. They set it up and then mail it back to the lab for the results. Now we installed the radon system in this house about six months ago, and it does keep the radon levels below one for the most part. So radon levels at low concentrations are the hardest to measure because there's less of it to measure. Now here, the reason we've got four of these air check test kits set up is I want duplicate measurements and we're gonna do an experiment within this experiment that tests how long it takes to get to the lab and does that affect the accuracy of the radon level. As always, we'll put links to all the products mentioned in the description below and we'll check back in with you on Monday. All right, well, it's now Monday and it's time to end our test. So I'm going to record what all my digital radon monitors are reading and I am going to send my air check test kits back to the lab for analysis. All right, we've got our reports back from air check and we are ready to compare everything. And as you can see, we've got results ranging from 0.3 picocuries up to 0.9 picocuries with our professional radon monitors right there in the middle at 0.6 picocuries. So everything is within acceptable limits and within the margin of error. Now, one thing to keep in mind with uh, consumer grade radon monitors, they are not used to make standalone mitigation decisions. They are great for monitoring your radon levels over time, uh, but you wanna make sure that you back up uh, the results of one of those with either a professional test or an EPA approved test kit. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite device is and if we've missed anything or you'd like to see a test with other radon monitors. And until next time, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching.